Okay, so here we are on our uh, first oil change at about 650 miles. Um, I went about 100 miles over what I wanted to, but um, that's just because I didn't have a chance to make it down to the motorcycle shop to get some oil. But uh, it's pretty simple to do. Um, I put in the uh, 10W40 synthetic. Synthetic seems to be the way to go. Um, oil is pretty dirty coming out, but I expect it. I, um, works downhill and then it's uphill coming home. So, <laughs> but yeah, when you do this, um, you want to make sure that you, uh, tilt your, your bike back and forth or your scooter back and forth to get all the oil out of it. And now I'm just kind of uh, letting it drip dry. Um, my thoughts on the scooter after having it for nearly a year is uh, I wish I would have bought it sooner. Um, I've saved a ton of money by driving this thing. All in all, I think I've put at the most three and a half to four gallons of fuel in this thing at 500 or at 600 miles. <laughs> so I have saved a ton of money driving this thing. And, uh, I would, if this blew up tomorrow, I would order another one. Um, easy to put together. Um, everybody loves it. I get a lot of people that give me compliments on it. That's how many squirrels have tried to kill me since I've <laughs> been driving it. It's kind of just a joke, inside joke that we have with everybody. But yeah, man, um, I look ridiculous on it. I'm a big guy, but um, I don't really care because I'm laughing all the way to the bank because of how cheap it has been to, to uh, ride this thing. The only issue that I've had is the steering wheel has come loose, and then um, I uh, took... You take it off on these bolts here. This piece comes off, which you'll know this because if you took, if you built this yourself, you would know you'd have to take this off to attach the, the, the bars here to the steering column. Um, it was the bolt. I was originally going to wrap it in tin and then reset it, but come to find out that bolt's kind of concave like this. It was tilted just this much. Once we seated it like that, and then we hit it with an impact wrench, this thing doesn't move at all. I mean, it's it's stout now. So um, the light issue, um, when I have a full charge on the battery, this doesn't flash anymore. When I have a little bit of a higher um, RPM, it doesn't flash anymore. Truthfully, I kind of like it flashing when I pull up to a stop sign because people see me better. Um, people do have a hard time seeing the turn signals back here. I thought about getting the extenders that come out like this, but why? Um, I can, nine times out of 10, if I'm worried about somebody coming up behind me, I'll just stick my hand out and do um, point which direction I'm going. But yeah, um, if you're thinking about buying one and you're on the fence, the Vitachi Spark, absolutely loved it. And uh, beats the heck out of uh, $4 and 25 cents a gallon for that truck right there and then of course driving this around is loud and takes a lot of fuel but um, four gallons is all I've used in on this scooter for the entire uh, 600 and something miles that I've um, ridden it so go out and get you one um, I think I have a link in my um, YouTube profile if not you can go to my other Vitachi Spark video. There's a link there that you can use and click to go and find it and uh, shows you where some parts are as well. And uh, if I can answer questions, I will. And um, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to talk my son who is getting his driver's license. You should get one too. Then we can start a scooter gang, man. Yeah? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, we're totally going to do it. And you want a scooter too? Yeah, we're going to start a scooter gang. We'll call ourselves like the the scooter demons or something like that. Yeah? You could, you could probably do the scooter family. The scooter family? Well, if you want to go with a nice name, we can. I was thinking like the, uh, you know, we can't do like the hell scooters or, but no. And if you do get a scooter, you, of course you got to name it. My scooter is a scoot doggy dog. So, yeah. All right. We'll see you in another 500, 600 miles. Bye-bye.